Hello students, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll solve the first writing passage of the April 2017 US SAT. So let's begin. Questions 1 to 11, the case for electronic health records. The US healthcare system has made significant strides in the implementation of systems that manage electronic health records, which include information such as a patient's medical history, medications currently prescribed, and a list of allergies. So here I have a list of patient's medical history, medications currently prescribed, and a list of allergies. So a comma after prescribed makes sense. So option A looks good. Okay, I can't have a semicolon in a list unless the items within the list use commas. And so to avoid confusion, I separate items with semicolons, but that's not a problem here. So B is wrong. A colon can only come at the end of a complete sentence. So C is wrong. And the comma has to come before and not after and. So the right answer is A. From 2001 to 2013, the use of electronic health record systems by office-based physicians began to decline only in the last three years. While this progress is commendable, the US healthcare system needs to make the full transition to electronic health records a high priority. The writer wants to complete the sentence with accurate and relevant information from the graph to support the claim made about advances in the implementation of electronic health record systems, which choice best accomplishes this goal. Okay, so we have a percentage of office-based physicians with electronic health record systems. And you can see that this percentage has shown a steady increase from 2001 to 2013. Now here I'm saying that the US healthcare system has made significant strides in the implementation of electronic health record systems, right? So from 2001 to 2013, the use of electronic health record systems by office-based physicians began to decline. So this is clearly wrong because there is no decline. So option A is out. Increased most dramatically between 2011 and 2012. Yeah, so this is the steepest slope. So this statement is accurate. So I'll keep this for now. Increased from less than 20% of physicians to nearly 80% of physicians. This is also true, so I'll keep it. Fluctuated from year to year until about 80% of physicians were using electronic health records. So I don't think it's fluctuating because it is showing an increasing trend. So D is not a good answer. Now, this was about accuracy. Now let's talk about relevance. Relevance here would mean that you are introducing the idea of the increasing use of healthcare systems and you're speaking about data from 2001 to 2013. So you obviously want to talk about a general trend, right? You don't want to talk about a specific year in which there was a dramatic increase, right? So the best answer here would be C, that there is a general trend of increase from less than 20% so to as much as 80% of physicians now using electronic health records. While this progress is commendable, the US healthcare system needs to make the full transition to electronic health records a high priority. Regrettably, electronic medical records require infrastructure that can be expensive to build. Okay, so I don't like this as a transition from the previous paragraph because my previous paragraph finished with saying that I need to make a full transition, right? So it just seems that I should talk about the positives of health records, uh, not the negatives, right? So the question is, which phrase most effectively sets up the examples in the second part of the sentence? They don't require physical storage space. They don't need to be photocopied and collated, and they are less likely to be physically misplaced. So these are advantages, which actually makes sense because I want to start my passage with the advantages of electronic health records. So A is out. Electronic health records provide many advantages over paper ones. That's a good option because 
they don't require storage space that is physical they don't need to be photocopied which are all the things that you need to do with paper health records so i like this researchers have weighed the benefits and drawbacks of electronic health records yeah but here i'm only talking about the benefits right i'm talking about how they score over paper records so it's not c typically electronic health records need a full time staff to maintain them so this is actually contrary to what the part after the colon is saying because in the part after the colon i'm saying that they are quite handy and they don't need a lot of work so b is the best answer they don't require physical storage space they don't need to be photocopied and collated and they are less likely to be physically misplaced so here i have a list and each item on the list has the subject and the predicate they don't require physical space they don't need to be photocopied and they are less likely so the way it's written is fine because it maintains parallel structure every item on the list starts with the subject has the verb and then the rest of the sentence so the way it's written is good okay option b they don't require physical storage space they don't need to be photocopied and collated and because they are less likely to be physically misplaced if i say and because they are less likely then there has to be something after misplaced right because this will start something that is incomplete so it can't be b and being less likely would also indicate that i need to say something after misplaced so even c is not correct and if i delete the underlined portion then i go against parallel structure because i'm saying they don't do this they don't do that and they are less likely to so i need to maintain that so the best answer is a more importantly electronic records accelerate communication between different and various healthcare providers allowing for more efficient patient treatment now different and various they are redundant they mean the same thing so option a is out different by itself makes sense so this is a good option diverse and different uh, number one diverse doesn't really make sense in this context because i'm talking about healthcare providers so diversity could possibly mean in terms of different disciplines but that's not needed when you're saying different so this is also redundant and singularly different does not really capture what we are trying to say i'm not not trying to say that everybody is an expert in their field i'm just trying to say that each of them can come together to make the most efficient uh, sort of you know regimen for the patient so the best answer is b they accelerate communication between different healthcare providers for example when paramedics have access to electronic records in ambulances they can learn what kinds of treatment they should immediately begin on a patient immediate treatment results in safer and earlier care which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlined portion so i can say they can learn what kinds of treatments they should immediately begin on a patient resulting in safer and earlier care yeah so this actually conveys the intended meaning so this is a concise answer and a good answer okay if i say and results then i'm saying they can learn what kinds of treatments they should focus on and results so this kind of confuses the subject because what is results the act of their referring to electronic healthcare records that results in so that subject is not clear so b is not a good answer okay and those treatments result uh, in safer and earlier care so that's fine but this is not as concise as a a conveys the same meaning with fewer words so it's not c and because it results is that correct is there a cause effect that i am trying to establish when paramedics have access to healthcare records in ambulances they can learn what kinds of treatments they should immediately begin on a patient that results in safer and earlier care right so the cause effect is from access to uh, safer care right and d doesn't capture that so the best answer is a even small improvements in efficiency add up 
the Veterans Health Administration, the largest integrated healthcare system in the US, reports that after the implementation of electronic health records in 1995, its total productivity has increased by 6% per year. These concerns, however, are also problems for paper records. Okay, so just as I'm reading this, I can see that this doesn't make sense here because the previous paragraph has finished with how total productivity has increased, right? So it's not a concern, it's an advantage. So I can see that a question about sentence placement is perhaps coming because one, the first sentence doesn't sound right and the sentences are numbered. Despite these clear benefits, some patients and medical professionals still harbor concerns about the potential for error and the violation of patient privacy when electronic records are used. By no means free from errors, handwritten records are especially prone to errors uh, resulting from illegible handwriting. Electronic health record systems can actually reduce errors by, for instance, cross-referencing drug information. This provides doctors with automatic warnings about possible adverse drug interactions. Now, the first thing I notice is that the way it's written is not correct because this part is one sentence that electronic systems can actually reduce errors. And this part is a second sentence. And I can't have a comma between independent sentences. So A is not right. Okay, electronic health record systems can cross-reference drug information to provide doctors with automatic warnings. That makes sense. It's a good option. Okay, if I say providing doctors, then that's dependent on the first half and a semicolon is not correct because a semicolon should come between two independent sentences. And if I just say provides, then that also is not correct because this does not have a subject and this comma will require that I say providing, not provides. So the best answer is B. Likewise, at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, serious medical errors decreased by 55% after an electronic record system was implemented. Furthermore, patient privacy is no more threatened by electronic records than it is by paper records, which are according to the US Department of and so on. Okay, so here I have to decide the right connector. The previous line is saying that electronic health record systems can reduce errors by cross-referencing a drug information. And here I'm saying at Brigham and Women's Hospital, serious medical errors decrease by 55%. So I need to kind of suggest that what I'm saying here is supported by data here. So likewise doesn't make sense because likewise is used to indicate something similar. Right, but here I'm presenting a data point. So it's not A. Uh, still, still has a contrasting feel to it. And this is not contrast. So B is not correct. Okay, in this case doesn't make sense because I'm not talking about a case here. I'm talking about a general trend, right? So it's not C. In fact is a good answer. In fact is used to bolster something to support something with the data point. And that's exactly what I'm doing when I speak about Brigham and Women's Hospital. So D. Furthermore, patient privacy is no more threatened by electronic records than it is by paper records, which are, according to the US Department of Health and Human Services, typically accessed by at least 150 different healthcare professionals. Now here, my main sentence is paper records, which are, typically accessed by at least 150 different healthcare professionals. And this part, according to US Department of Health and Human Services, this is additional information. So I can put additional information between a pair of commas or between a pair of dashes. Since I already have a closing comma here, I will need to have a starting comma after R, which is option C, right? I can't have a dash because the closing punctuation is not a dash. I need to have a punctuation because this part is non-essential. So it's not B and semicolon cannot be used here because it separates two independent sentences. 
To make this paragraph most logical, sentence two should be placed. So sentence two is despite these clear benefits, some patients and medical professionals still harbor concerns about the potential for error and the violation of patient privacy when electronic records are used. So this clear benefits is something that we were speaking about here, the increase in total productivity. So if I put this as the starting sentence, if I say, despite these clear benefits here, then I'm saying patients and medical professionals harbor concerns. And these concerns are also problems for paper records. So this concerns flows into this sentence because then I talk about how uh, error prone paper records are and how privacy is also an issue with paper records. So I should actually start my paragraph with sentence two. So I should move it before sentence one. The best way to address these concerns about accuracy and privacy are not to avoid adopting. Okay, so this is the verb. And what is the subject for this verb? The best way. The best way to address these concerns, which is a singular. So the best way to address these concerns is to avoid, right? Because I need a singular is not to avoid adopting electronic health record systems, but rather to implement them effectively. So D. Okay, let's grade this. Starting from question one. A, C, B, A, B. A, C, B, A, B. A, B, D, C, B, D. A, B, D, C, B, D. Okay, great. So we got all correct. Hope this exercise was useful. I would link to other writing passages that I have solved in the description box. So do check those out. I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.